And today, Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan stopped in Beaumont to welcome the Jefferson County Republican Party's new party chair. 12 News reporter Amelia White, she was, she's live tonight with us in studio, and she was there as Phelan spoke on the role being filled in the new Republican chair. Amelia? Leticia, Joe Evans is the new and first black Jefferson County Republican chair. Today, he told me this feels like a full circle moment from where he started to where he is now. A standing ovation for Joe Evans as he was sworn in as the new chair of the Jefferson County Republican it's Party. It's, it's amazing how Is you wake audio? up and your dreams are like right in your face. You never know how it's going to come or where it will start, but it's here. Evans' journey to the Republican chair started over 10 years ago. He played a role in getting the Jefferson County Republican Party on its feet. Um, I, I've worked almost every position in the party locally. I started as a precinct chair. I've been executive director, coalitions director, vice chairman. He wants to continue to strengthen the credibility and accountability of the Jefferson County Republican Party. Because I want to make sure that we're running competent, caring, conservative candidates. You know, I want to make sure that our candidates are embedded in the community. Throughout the ceremony, several officials welcomed Joe Evans into his new role and took the stage to say a few words. Speaker Dade Phelan touched on the current state of Jefferson County. Jefferson County is the only county out of 254 that is exactly 50-50. It is exactly 50-50. Back when I was in high school, you walked in to vote, there was no Republican primary. Governor Abbott was supposed to be in Beaumont, but he stayed in Uvalde as more victims are being laid to rest. Phelan also briefly touched on the mass shooting in Uvalde. It's a day-to-day -day, uh, day -day response, and we are going to move through that in a very thoughtful manner. So I appreciate the governor placing Uvalde as a priority as it should be. Phelan expressed his support for Evans, and those who worked very closely with him says he's the right man for the job. Uh, I would just tell them they've got to watch out because they got somebody really strong and uh, really knows what he's doing. And you know, and Evans says he's looking forward to the road ahead as the party prepares for the November election. And now we have a tremendous platform to stand on. And I think we're going to be victorious this fall. We did ask Phelan for a one-on-one -on -one interview. He declined to give us one. Congressman Randy Weber was unable to attend today's swearing-in ceremony. Amelia White, 12 News.